Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Friday. Getting off to an early start here. And down at the very south end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, which is also the north end of Vanderbilt Beach. That's Vanderbilt Beach. Looking south down Vanderbilt Beach there. All those empty condos. Everybody's gone home for the summertime. Sun's just getting ready to come up. Sunrise is at 6.45. I thought I'd start a little earlier. Let's take a walk up the beach. See what we find. See if there's any signs of any new sea turtle crawls. Any hatchings. waves out there this morning. Hard to tell what the water looks like this morning. Gotta wait for the sun to come up. It's still a little dark. Maybe we'll get some nice colors here this morning. You never know. Something different every morning. High tide is at 8 a.m. this morning. So the tide is still coming in. It's too rough out in the water to find any shells. Maybe we'll find something on the beach this morning. That water temperature is 88 degrees. It's really starting to warm up. All by myself out here right now. Imagine that. Take a look behind me. Still really dark out here. I don't see anybody on the beach yet. No runners or walkers. sandpiper up there ahead of me that's the only only other living thing on the beach with me right now <laughs> yeah, a little sandpiper running in front of me <laughs> he followed me all the way down to the end of the beach when I came in now he's going back up with me kind of funny 
must be lonely. See you later. Are you gonna turn around? Okay. And there's there's the county beach patrol down there. You can see the lights on their buggy down there. doing their morning beach patrol. I haven't seen our park rangers yet here at Del Nor Wiggins. I get some interesting colors and in the few clouds that are out this morning. Maybe we'll get some nice colors out in the Gulf as the sun rises. still out here right now. Very calm. A lot of seaweed here. I didn't notice this up at the north end of the beach yesterday. Here's what's a little exoskeleton of a little horseshoe crab. They shed these shells, their outer skeleton, the horseshoe crab. That's a little one. Pretty interesting process to watch. There's some cool videos on the internet of how they shed their shell. It's absolutely amazing. That's a little horseshoe crab. Here's where I started from this morning. That's the ramp there in area one in the parking lot. And I walked down to the very south end of the beach of the park to start my live feed. I know we have over 50 sea turtle nests now. I don't know the exact number. We have had some hatchings. That's number 10. That looks like that hatched. Number 10. What somebody, there's a huge piece of rope here. I don't know what that's doing on the beach. Big old heavy piece of rope.
really rough out there this morning. Well, it's not rough, but rougher than it has been. Starting to get a little brighter out here now. in area two now right about in the middle of area two beach No signs of any new crawls yet. Starting to get a little tiny bit of color over there in the eastern sky. A little bit. Still haven't really seen any seashells worth picking up yet. Yeah, it looks like we had a hatching over here. There was a nest at the base of this boardwalk here. Looks like that one hatched. Yep. And the rangers did their, they dug down in there and checked it out. You can see some of the old eggs. That's one of the old egg casings right there from the loggerhead sea turtle. All the flies hanging around, they can smell that. This is where an, one of the nests was. There's one of the old shells over here. 
See how soft they are? They're, they're like leather. They're about the size of a ping pong ball. Soft, leathery texture. I've got plenty of pictures of these on my Facebook page here if you do some searching. Oh, there's a crawl right here, right here next to me. Look at that. There's a set of tracks right here. These are the tracks coming back to the water. I got a feeling this is another nest here. Here's the tracks coming from the water. This is where she did her digging. So the nest would be back up in here somewhere. And I, did, I believe there's eggs here because you can see the crabs digging, going down into there. Hopefully they didn't get into the egg chamber. Raccoon tracks. So there's probably definitely, definitely a nest here. I'm not gonna say for sure. We'll leave that up to the park rangers. So that's gonna be right down off the end of the boardwalk at the north end of area two. What number that's going to be 52 53 i don't know Let's see the park rangers heading up here i don't know if they're going to check it out now or come back later and check it out That's number 29 back up in there. Beautiful out here this morning. I'm gonna hang here for a minute and just see what the rangers do. Boy, the water looks kind of dirty out here this morning. It's hard to tell in the shade here, but in the shadows. Well, now I don't know where the ranger went. I lost him. He was coming up here. But that new crawl is right over there. Uh, the, unfortunately, the ranger's stuck picking up trash on the beach down there. That's so sad. I saw all kinds of crap walking down there. Kids' floats. Toys. Trash. Sad. And there's the crawl tracks right there. The ones on the left of the screen are the ones coming out of the water. That's where the dig potential nest site is. I'm gonna snap off a picture of that. Bear with me here real quick. Don't go anywhere. I don't know if the ranger's gonna make it up here or not. That's a pretty good crawl. We definitely see that little squiggly line coming down the center. A lot of times that means she definitely laid eggs. See that? There's no little squiggly line on the going up. There's just every once in a while a little squiggle where her tail was dragging. But you can definitely see that little squiggly line all the way down the middle here. So, maybe we have another nest. Let's keep our fingers crossed. The more nests, the more... The better the odds for a sea turtle surviving. They say one in a thousand makes it. Only one in a thousand makes it to come back and nest.
what's interesting is they come back to the beach where they were born to nest. So all these nests that we have on the beach here, they were these little these sea turtles were hatched here. That's pretty cool. And they can lay more than one clutch of eggs during the nesting season. Anything to increase the odds of survival. seen a lot of shells there's a little a little clump here a little clump of shells all well, looks like all clam shells there's some big clam shells on the beach lately recently these things make great little ashtrays or bowls a lot of people in southwest florida have these on their lanai's they're screened in patios behind their house the lanai the pool cage i don't know if we have so many of these because of the dredging but they weren't dredging down here. I don't see any of our interesting shells, our moon shells, our whelk shells. I haven't seen any murex shells lately. No lace murex shells. Here comes Mark. Mark's really good at finding these nests. He is really good. He finds those eggs. He's the fastest one out here. Wiping his brow. He's gonna, he's gonna check it out. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Good morning, Mark. You're just going right to town. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that is soft sand, huh? It is. It's a good sign. another nest here. Got it? All right. Can you see him down there? Oh boy. There you go, folks. What, you know what number this is, Mark? 53. Number three. Oops. Get off my face. Just zoom in. Well, you have to look really close. Down in the center, you can see the two egg, couple eggs down there in the egg chamber. That is awesome. And like I said, Mark is the fastest. <laughs> that is incredible. Nest number 53. Thanks, Mark. Sure, no problem. That was awesome. Huh. 
Now he's gonna mark it. Put, whoop, sorry. Hang on. Got this crap on my screen here. There we go. So he's gonna put the cage there and the stakes. That's gonna be nest number 53. Very cool. I'll walk up the beach. See if there's any more crawls. How exciting. I got to see a new nest. That's what's nice about coming out here early in the morning. Wow. Very cool. I'm glad I stuck around. Boy, it did not take him long to find those eggs. That was amazing. Mark has been doing this for a long time. And he knows all the telltale signs. There's a little snowy egret running around him just ahead of me, running up ahead of me. No action over there yet. Up ahead of me, uh, you're gonna see the reason why we don't like seeing these sea turtles laying their eggs out in the middle of the beach. We like it when they get up into the dunes. You can see right here, unfortunately, this nest was underwater. The tide came up this high, nest number 40. Hopefully it didn't drown those little babies in there. They need oxygen to survive. Let's keep our fingers crossed that they didn't drown in there, nest number 40. much better when they get up higher into the dunes, into the trees. They have a much better chance of survival from our high tides here. That's number 24 up there. Now Mark's got a lot of work to do on that nest still back there. He's got to actually measure it. They plot it on a map. They keep track of all the nests, how far they are from the water. Rob doing a count. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. The ranger's gonna give you come yell at you here in a minute. <laughs> it's open every, 24 hours a day. Yeah, but it's not open to only sure to members. Oh, that means it's open. Yeah, well, Everybody's yeah. who's complaining, we throw them in the water. There you go. <laughs> Water's <laughs> gross out here this morning. Well, what? the waves have been... Yeah. It's, it, wasn't, it wasn't like this yesterday. Look what, what happened on that. She just dug up a, a nest yesterday. Yeah. What, was there a crawl there or what? Well, there's one there. We just had another one right there. A crawl? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. But the other day, they were, they went and they were digging up the eggs that it already hatched. Yeah, yeah. And one hatched in his hand. Oh, really? Yeah. They had one was, one I don't know if it was stuffed or what, but one hatched in the ranger's hand. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hatch his hand? Yep. They nice. just popped its head out of the egg. Nice. <laughs> she, she dug that up yesterday. Right, almost right there. Yeah, it was right. It was right at the end. And uh, not at the eggs that had, you know, quite a few didn't. Yeah, it's sad to see all the you see them in all different stages of development. Yeah. If you look at them, they they're pretty ripe smelling too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the flies came oh yeah. Oh well, good luck down here. I'll see you on the way back, guys. Okay. Bye. -bye. 
Where's the wife? Oh, uh, walking up there to see if Roy recognizes her. <laughs> I don't think she went that far. Uh, all right, I'll see you on the way back. Good luck. There's Andrea up there. That was Fisherman Mike and Marcus. Marcus's son, Julian. Julius. Well, one more nest on the beach this morning. That's always good news. Let's see if there's any more crawls up here before the tide comes in. It's coming in fast now. High tides at eight o'clock. Good morning. Did you see anything interesting? Yes, of course. I found. Oh, yeah. nice. A big pop. And I think I, I found a crawfish. Oh. It's, 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 I think it might be one. Yeah, that's one. And I think so. Over there is a hatched nest. A hatched one? Yes. Oh, sweet. But the turtles are uh, already gone. Oh, yeah. Yes. But um, you can look. Can you see all the... their little footprints in the sand? No, I just saw the hole. The I hole? hope it's hatched. Yeah. And not, um, hope or not a raccoon. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm not sure. I'll go check that out. We had another nest right down there. Yeah. Right down where. Yeah, it was yeah. number two. Yeah. We well, talked to the ranger yesterday. No, he, that's a new one now, where he is. A new one? Yeah, okay. just this morning. <laughs> See you later. Well, let's go see that nest that hatched. Look at all these little snowies here. The little snowy egrets out looking for their breakfast. Good morning. That's definitely, that nest definitely hatched. Didn't hatch last night. That's what it looks like, the hole there that all the little turtles come out of. You can just barely see some of their little footprints over here. What's left of them. I'm guessing that hatched the other night. The rangers will check that out, see how many eggs hatched, how many didn't. They keep, keep close track of everything here. That's cool. I don't even know what nest number that was. There's actually nothing on that one. I don't see a number. Maybe it's seven, nest seven, yeah, N7. Different way of writing it there. Nest seven. So the lower the numbers, the closer they are to hatching. You see here's nest number 16. Up there, nest 34. That's got a ways to go before hatching. See our friend Roy stuff up there up on the beach. Still 
Still not seeing any cool shells. Again, it's high tide, so it's not the best time to be shelling. Low tide's the best time to be out here shelling. Just go up here and say good morning to Roy. See how he's doing. by his chair. He might be up at Wiggins Pass still. If I'm going to find any shells, a lot of times this is where I find them, right in this area. There's a cockle shell down there. An old cockle shell with a little hole in it. I'm gonna hang on to that. I need a shell to hang on the tree this morning. Hopefully I'll find something a little nicer. Oh. Part of an old lightning whelk there. Another little broken cockle shell. A little piece of finger coral down here. There's a nice little worm shell. A wormy tip. Big fat one. Nothing jumping out at me here yet. Just little bits and pieces. Piece of a Murex. An old Murex shell, that's kind of cool. Let me keep that. In, you can see inside of it, this was an Apple Murex. That's kind of neat. The inside of the Murex shell. Bunch of little 
Scotch bonnets around here. A lot of these laying around. Piece of a looks like an old pear well. Part of an old pear well. Little scallop shell. Piece of a little scallop. There's part of a worm shell down there too. Lots of little scallops down here. There's a scallop there, scallop there. There's a white scallop shell over here. That's a nice one, a white scallop. Lots of slipper shells out here. Lots of slipper shells everywhere. There's another little scallop, black scallop. There's a top of a moon shell. Worn out shark eye, just the top of it. Can't even see the eye on it, it's so worn out. Some very nice slipper shells out here this morning. Give you an idea of the colors. There's two slipper shells right here. You can see the difference in the colors. Slipper shells and turn them over. If you use your imagination, you can see how they look like little slippers. They're smooth on the outside there. Two different color patterns there. There's a couple people up ahead of me shelling. They've, I saw them pick up a nice whelk shell a little a few minutes ago. I still am looking for something, a nice shell to hang on the shell tree up here. Hopefully. We'll find something up here a little further. Not many shells on the beach here. Just in that one spot back there. Back where the beach juts out there, that's where we've been finding pretty much anything we've found lately has been right in that area.
there's Roy making his way up the beach. What's up, guys? Good, how you doing, Roy? Good, good, good. I don't, but how you doing? <laughs> oh, great. One of your many beach friends. <laughs> he does. Oh, he's a great one. He gives me real good advice. He uh, yeah, he, he did, gives you advice. Yeah, he gave me one. That's a new one. The other way around. <laughs> he gave me one this morning. Oh yeah. This guy's the inspiration. Yeah. What you got? Oh, this is about acceptance. This is acceptance. Quite good. Yeah. Yeah. Acceptance. Ah, this is, uh, this is the last paragraph. It says it all. I need to concentrate not so much on what needs to be changed in the world as what needs to be changed. In me and my attitude. <laughs> That's Good always thought. the truth. Yeah. Sad, but true. Yeah. That's the cutting truth. Yeah. Say, uh, you know, you, uh, you're you quite busy in your uh, occupation and everything. I think you you need a typewriter, don't you, on your in your work? A typewriter? No. Don't you need a typewriter? Nobody uses I've those anymore. A, I've got a really good typewriter that I'd like <laughs> to give to you. I, I don't I, know what I'd do with that. Well, maybe just take it home and keep it in reserve. Yeah, I have no use for a typewriter. Well, it's a really good one. You, you might want to look it over and change it. That's your like mind. going. That's going backwards in time. I, I left it on the beach for you, so if okay. you go up here, take, take a take a look on the way by. I left it because I knew you. Uh, Did I you leave a note about. in there for me too? Did you type well, a note for no, me? No, but you'll you'll see it. It's right up by these first trees here. It's uh, I left it down on the beach for okay. you. Okay. So check it out when you go by. <laughs> typewriter. It looks like really worthwhile. You probably want to take it home. Well, I, I'm surprised you didn't pick it up. Well, I, I was going to, but it, it wouldn't. Uh, How's the I, ribbon? Did you check the ribbon? Well, not exactly. It's, uh, <laughs> you'll, it's you'll have to kind of check it over thoroughly. All right. It could be a very valuable uh, piece of machinery. I'll definitely check that out. Yeah, I think it's Maybe one out. of the turtles left it up there last night. A typewriter. I haven't yeah. even I haven't seen a typewriter for ages. Well, maybe it's an antique. It could have value as an antique. There you go. Maybe they used it to print out the advertisement for the old Hazi car back in 1902. There you go. They were that's fun. Well, I'll go check that out. Yeah, yeah. You never know what you're going to find on the beach. That's yeah, for this, sure. This all makes things interesting. And then I'll come back and we'll have a little chat. Hey, wonderful. you got your harmonica with you? Yeah, I do. I haven't heard that for a while. Well, let's do it. Let's blow the dust out of that thing. Okay. All right. Bring in the dust. All right. I'll see you in a little while. Yeah, take, take it easy. Check out the type. I am. I'm going to type something on it for you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> An old typewriter up the beach. That is funny. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, a few more shells down here. Man, lots and lots of slipper shells. Oh, look at that. There's a moon shell. A shark eye. And these people walked right by and it was looking right up at us. Nice little moon shell or shark eye. They're also called shark eyes. That's a nice one. Well, there's a piece of one. Darn it. Almost found two of them. There's a broken one, a little one. Two little shark eyes. Wow, right next to each other. Little, that looks like a an old, old, old crown conch right there. A very old crown conch. Wow, I haven't found a moon shell in a while. That's neat. Two of them, almost side by side. What else is down here? Lots and lots of little cockle shells. Pieces of worm shells. 
Here's a piece of a worm shell. A little cockle. An old cockle. Tons of slipper shells. But look at all these cockle shells everywhere. Little cockles everywhere. Holy smokes. I mean everywhere. That's a really nice looking one there. Okay. I need to find a really nice big cockle shell with a hole in it for the tree. A lot of shells here. These were all out here yesterday, too. Roy and his typewriter. Now that is funny. I got to see this. Said there was an old typewriter up here on the beach. Where on earth would that have come from? Sun's just starting to pop up over the trees now. We really didn't get any of those pinks and oranges and yellows out in the Gulf this morning. Still gorgeous though out here. A little on the rough side. A little bit of wave action. Beautiful as we look down to the south. Back out into the gulf. There's a pelican flying by. One of our feathered friends. Roy is a character, isn't he? pile of shells here. I don't know if the high tide's going to make it up this high. I don't know what time it is. Eight o'clock is high tide. There's a big turkey wing shell down there. Big turkey wing. Those are kind of cool looking. on the ed top edge here. There's an interesting looking little kitten's paw. A kitten's paw shell. Another nice little cockle shell down there. Great little cockle shell. Nice colors. the waves are making their way up here now what happens is the waves will come up and they'll spread all these shells out here and then you'll you'll uncover new little treasures there's just so many things buried down here look at that here's a what's left of 
what was a really nice big whelk shell. Look at that. It's the inside of an old lightning whelk. Not too long ago, somebody found a really nice whelk about this size on the beach. Some beautiful colors. There's this nice looking little scallop shell. We've got lots of scallops here on the beach, all different colors, white, black. Hey, there's a nice looking fighting conch shell down here. Here's a little bait, here's a little fighting conch down here. It's kind of interesting when they're little, they're kind of light in color. This is a beautiful, beautiful conch shell down here. I'm definitely keeping this. Look at, look at the patterns on that conch shell. The Florida fighting conch, look at that one. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the stripes on that. That is a nice little specimen. And the little baby next to it. I'll stick that in my other pocket. My pockets are getting full. I've been picking up a lot of cockle shells. There's another nice cockle down there. Another really nice cockle shell. Wow, these shells just go right up the beach under the trees here. Huh, there's the typewriter Roy was talking about. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is it a typewriter? No. Well, I thought that was a typewriter. It's a chair from a Hobie. <laughs> Roy, he thought that was a typewriter. That was funny. Wow, look at all these shells piled up here. Just piles, this is just a pile of shells. Need to do some sifting here, some sifting, some digging. Man. There is a ton of shells up here. This is up where we lost all our beach. the north end of the park here in area five. I'll bet you there's some nice shark's teeth buried in all this stuff here. Anybody wants to take some time, I'm sure you're going to get rewarded digging through all this stuff. Look at it all. Just all piled up there. Well, we just about walked the entire mile-long beach here at Wiggins this morning. We started all the way down in area one, the south end of the park. Now we're up at the north end, up in area five. We saw a new turtle nest this morning. We got to see the eggs in there in the nest. When the, rain, when the park ranger was verifying it. That was fun. 
earlier in our beach walk. You definitely want to check that out in the replay. Remember, you can always watch these videos on YouTube in a little higher quality later on. <coughs> Excuse me. There's something interesting. We actually have a sea turtle nest way up in the dunes, up by the picnic area. See it up there next to the bench? I think that was nest number 49. That is 48 or 49. That's way up in the dune area. That was a big crawl. That one's definitely going to be safe and sound. You can see how how about far away from the water it is. There's the water here. Came up, crawled up the dune. Way up there is where she made her nest. Nest number 49. These are loggerhead sea turtles that crawl ashore on our beach here. 53 nests so far on this stretch of beach, this mile long stretch at Del Norwegians. 53 nests. They don't all hatch, unfortunately. Sadly, the sea turtles that don't make it up into the dunes and they nest out in the middle of the beach during high tides, their nests get covered up with water and the little babies drown. So out of 53 years, we might lose 10 nests, 20%. Hopefully we won't have any big storms before the hatching season is over, which is October. We're still getting some stragglers crawling up on the beach. I believe they can come up on the beach all the way through the month of August. There's the two shells I hung the other day. There was that cockle shell I hung for our friend Sherry. There's a nice one. And then I hung this crown, this little crown conch up here. So when you see these trees with the shells hanging on them, a lot of people will hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away, so take that into consideration. They're not just shells hung for you to pick <laughs> off the tree to make your shelling easy. All these trees got knocked over by Hurricane Irma last September in 2017. wreaked havoc on our beach here. This used to be a nice little canopy of trees that you would walk under here. But you can see they've all been knocked over. Not much beach here either. I'm gonna Keep searching for a nice shell to hang on the tree. Up here the, around the corner of Wiggins Pass. If not, I have one in my pocket that I can hang that I picked up earlier. Now these these stumps here, these weren't from Hurricane Irma. These are stumps from old Australian pine trees. They have been here for, oh God, decades, at least decades. You see the big pines back there. That's what these stumps are from.
Here, this toppled over sea grape tree. People have hung shells on the actually on the root system. You can see how high the water came up here. It's actually coming up over the little crest here, making its way back into here. This is Wiggins Pass. This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Here's our park ranger Mark just finishing up his morning rounds. Earlier, I got to watch Mark as he was checking out a sea turtle nest here, verifying that there was a successful crawl and there were eggs in the nest. So. We got to take a peek at some eggs in the nest real quick this morning. That was pretty fun. They just they just barely uncover. They just wanna they wanna feel the, the eggs inside the egg chamber, not necessarily uncover them. They just verify it's a successful crawl. And then they put one of those cages up around the nest that you've seen on the beaches here. They put the metal cage and the stakes. There's a big old horseshoe crab. Big horseshoe crab on the beach. Sadly, it's dead. That's the front there. That's the way they crawl along the bottom, this direction. That's its tail over there. A horseshoe crab. Ah, here's the tail of a horseshoe crab over here. Just the tail. There's a nice big cockle shell. Oh, this is a beauty. This is what I was hoping to find to hang on the shell tree. Beautiful cockle with a nice big hole in it. This is gonna make a great shell for the shell tree. I'm going to rinse it off. I'm glad I came up this far this morning. Get the sand off of this. Beautiful, beautiful shell for the shell tree. So I can empty my pockets out right now of the, the other one I had picked up. Let's see if we find any more neat shells. There's a few shells up here. Found a couple of little moon shells this morning. That was fun. Saw a lot of scallops. A lot of scallops. There's another scallop down here. I love these red ones. They're so colorful. Hey, quick reminder, go to Nonstop Naples, like their page, Nonstop Naples. Fun things to do around town. Information about things to do, where to eat, entertainment, and then download the Nonstop Naples app for your phone. We're just getting this app filled up, loaded, but might as well get it. It's a free app. And there are some coupons and rewards on there too, so. Download the Nonstop Naples app, either at the Google Play Store or the App Store. Nonstop Naples. Thought I saw a piece of a moon shell down here. It's funny, you look up and you look down and you can't find it. Everything just gets lost in the mix. Be sure to like my Facebook page here too, Southwest Florida Television. Like and follow. Tell your friends about it. 
I don't do these beach walks every day. Kind of when the mood strikes and, the, and it works out with my schedule. But if you enjoy these beach walks, tell your friends, share it with your friends. So this is Wiggins Pass, the very north end, at the very north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. That's Barefoot Beach Preserve over there, another beautiful beach. That's a big beach over there. Over 6,200 feet of beach at Barefoot Beach. It's kind of deceiving. That beach right there, from right here where we're standing, it would take you almost a half, oh, it'd take you a half hour to get over there because you have to drive all the way back down this way, back over the bridges, over the river, all the way up to Bonita Beach Road, and back in through Laley, Laley Barefoot Beach, and that's where the entrance to this beach is. It'd take you a good half hour to get there from here. Crazy. And then, to get to that point at the beach, that's, oh, probably, oh, a quarter of a mile at least, a quarter of a mile walk from the parking lot to the end of the beach. So that's a good hike over there. Beautiful beach though. Definitely well worth the, the walk. But you're gonna wanna bring some bug spray this time of year. Walking through those those trees, lots of bugs. No seams. The mosquitoes will be out soon. Although they're doing a good job mosquito control spraying this year. Well, here we go. Some fishermen up here. I don't know if they're catching anything or not. They definitely come up here and do get a lot of practice fishing in. Well, there it looks like a ladyfish. Nothing worth keeping. Morning. <laughs> yep. Some people keep those, not many. Anything good? Nothing good? Oh, you see any dolphins this morning? Did they chase no, the fish I away? I haven't seen them. Yeah. All since all this work. Yeah, yeah, maybe because of the trenching. Yeah. yeah. I think they're done though, I hope. I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> well, good luck. Okay, thanks. Well, he's got to keep it. What you got? Oh wow, wow. half. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's a nice one. Okay, Final. That is very nice. Final. Boy, I believe that was a jack. That was a nice size one. That was a nice one. Well, we'll walk back down, chat with our friend Roy. There's an old biting conch shell over here. This one's lost all its color. Look at that. Completely faded out. Florida fighting conch. I've got one of these that's absolutely gorgeous in my pocket. I think I'll show that to you. I picked it up a little earlier. Put the phone in my other hand here. Hopefully I won't drop it in the water. Here's a gorgeous, gorgeous fighting conch. Look at the color patterns on that. The Florida fighting conch. That is magnificent right there. That is a great specimen right there. Look at those colors. 
beautiful stripes. The Florida Fighting Conch. Yeah, I picked up a couple little moon shells earlier too. I'll show you that here, see if I can find them in my pocket. Everything kind of gets lost in my pockets. Where is that moon shell? I think I feel it down there. All the way down in the bottom. Nope. Well, here's something else I picked up. That's an apple murex, part of an apple murex shell. But it's kind of interesting how you can see the inside of it, the inside of the apple murex shell. It's pretty neat. An old apple murex. Can't still try and find that moon shell. Hope I didn't lose it. Sometimes things fall out of my pockets when I'm digging around. There it is. There's the moon shell. Also called a shark eye. A moon shell or shark eye shell. That was a nice little find this morning. One of my favorite shells to pick up. Did you see that post that I shared about that crazy woman down in Naples wanting to ban fishing on the Naples Pier? What a crackpot. Everybody's got to share that post, please. That woman, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Some people, they just have nothing better to do than to ruin other people's lives. I mean, you could fish. That's what the pier was for, fishing and Boats used to actually dock at the pier in the old days. Now this jerk wants to ban fishing on the pier. That woman's got to be stopped. She needs to be kicked out of town. <laughs> Put on a horse and rode out of town. Share that post and please let, make people aware of some of the idiots that live in this town. I mean, that is actually, that's, you know, the pier is our landmark, and that's one of the really neat things about the Naples Pier is that you can fish from the Naples Pier without a fishing license. You can't do it right now because Hurricane Irma caused some damage, and the pier is still being repaired, so it's closed to fishing. But once they repair it, you do not have to have a fishing license. The city of Naples has a blanket license so people can they come here to visit in Naples, can fish, enjoy fishing without a license off the pier. That is a great thing. <clears throat> now one crazy person wants to put a ban on that. Huh. Hopefully enough people will speak out and it won't happen. But anyway, that's my political rant for this morning. <laughs> I gotta pull my swim trunks up. My pockets are so full of shells, it's pulling my bathing suit down. <laughs> Here's a look back up to the north, back where we just came from, up at my Wiggins Pass. It's gonna be hot today. Another hot, muggy day. Temperature in the 90s. 
It'll be feeling like it's over 100 here today. The water's 88 degrees. Awful warm. Awful warm. I picked up a nice cockle shell on the beach a little while ago. I want to hang that on this shell tree here. Let's see, do I want to hang it on this one? <clears throat> I think I'm going to go a little further down. See all these shells? People hang these shells. Some people just hang them as a decoration. A lot of people, they'll hang a shell, they make a wish, or they'll say a prayer and hang a shell. But most of these shells have been hung in memory of a loved one that's passed away. It's a great tradition. There's quite a few of these trees up the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. And you'll see shells on the branches of trees at other beaches as well. Not just here at Del Norwegian's. a really nice branch over here. If I can get to it. Uh, it's up underneath there. I want to hang this shell. I think I'm going to hang it back in here. I don't like that spot. I'm gonna find, there's a good spot. There's a good one up here. I wanna hang it kind of where it hangs over the water. Here's a great branch here to hang this cockle shell. Whoops. So I'm gonna hang that, that's for my friend Chris. You might have seen a post on my personal page. My good friend Christopher Grenier passed away the other day, yesterday morning, but that shell's for him. And turn it around. So that's in memory of our good friend Chris. Gonna miss him. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Bear with me. All right. Sorry that took so long, but that's got some sentimental value to me there. Thanks for sticking around. Boy, a nice breeze blowing here. That shell's for Chris. Some of you may know Chris, some of you watching. Interesting character. Heart, had a heart of gold, loved by everybody. Miss you, Chris. Well, let's walk down the beach, see how Roy's doing. We ran into him earlier this morning for a few minutes. Boy, there's no beach left now with the high tide up here. Gorgeous out here. This is North Naples, Florida. The waves pounding on the shore here. Absolutely beautiful. If you're ever wondering what you're watching when you're watching a live feed, just tap the little live button up in the corner. And if the person 
doing the live feed knew what they were doing, it should tell you where the live feed is taking place at. You just tap that little red live up in the corner and it tells you where the live feed is being broadcast from. Now something I do is I will download this live feed to my phone and I will repost this on YouTube a little later and you can watch the entire the entire beach walk in a little better quality on YouTube. The replay on Facebook, the quality is a little bit diminished. And it looks a little bit better on YouTube. So what I'll do is I'll share that on Facebook later I'll share the link to YouTube and then you can follow my YouTube page as well I've seen some really neat things out here on these beach walks dolphins stingrays sharks sea turtles every morning it's always a little something a little different I shared one of my some footage from one of my old beach walks early this morning of a nurse shark that I was following up the beach and then all of a sudden a spotted eagle ray appeared as I was following the nurse shark that was really cool the eagle rays are beautiful Not much beach to walk on here. Started early this morning around 6 30. You're gonna want to check out the beginning of the beach walk because we did find a set of sea turtle tracks, a fresh set of loggerhead sea turtle tracks on the beach this morning. I kind of hung around, waited for the ranger, and sure enough, he dug down and confirmed that there were eggs. It was a successful crawl. So we got to see the nest, we got to see a couple of the eggs briefly. Before he covered them back up. That was cool. That makes nest number 53 here at Del Norwegans. Oh, there's a piece of a beautiful lightning well, just a piece of it. These are gorgeous shells when we find them. You can imagine what they look like just by that little piece. Look at the beautiful colors in that. Those little shells down there. I know there's a, some newcomers here just joining in. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to our little group here. That's what it's all about, making new friends. Well, we saw lots of little cockle shells on the beach this morning, lots of them. That's a little cockle shell right there. Lots of slipper shells on the beach this morning. See if I can, excuse me, find a slipper shell and show it to you. There's another, more cockles. There's a little slipper shell. They're usually everywhere, except when I want to pick one up and show it to everybody. I'm looking for a nice big one. Uh, all right, slipper shells, where are you? There's a 
There's one point on the beach where the beach was just covered with them. Ah, oh, darn it. There's the slipper shells. Little kitten's paw. There's a little kitten paw shell, a kitten's paw. Boy, it is warm out here already. Definitely starting to warm up. Ooh. Now that sun's coming up over the trees. There's an, well, that's a broken slipper shell. I'm trying to find a, still trying to find a nice slipper shell to show you, darn it. There's a little piece of a worm shell. And there's a slipper shell. Nice size one. That's, these come in all different colors. This is a pretty good size little slipper shell right here, but you're asking why do they call that a slipper shell? It doesn't look like a slipper. Well, Turn it over. See that? It looks like a little slipper, a little bedroom slipper. A slipper shell. A lot of these shells have some interesting names. They kind of call them, name them for what they are. Here's one here. There's a turkey wing shell. Another fairly common shell here on the beach, the turkey wing. There's another little, there's a little fighting conch shell. A little baby fighting conch. Here's what's left. It looks like a, of a whelk shell down here. A very, very old whelk shell. Very, very old lightning whelk. Piece of a very old lightning whelk. Now, of course, there's tons of slipper shells down here. Before, I couldn't find any. Lots of slipper shells down here. I thought I saw a little auger shell here somewhere. A little auger shell. Part of a little worm shell, the worm tip. That's the tip of the worm shell. Here's another one. This one has a little piece of the shell on it. These are always fun to collect. I mean, you can find some little babies. Look at this. This is a little, little tiny baby cockle shell. Look at the size of that. That's a little baby cockle shell right there. Isn't that cool? Get a little light on it. Be easier to see. A little tiny baby cockle. Wow. Very cool. There's our friend Roy, 93 years old, comes to the beach just about every morning, starts at sunrise, goes, walks up to the north end of the park to Wiggins Pass for sunrise, gets on his hands and knees, says his prayers. 
and he'll spend the rest of the morning reading a good book, just soaking in the sunshine, fresh air. Hey, Rob, how you doing? Did you see the typewriter? No, I saw what you thought was a typewriter. You didn't <laughs> see the typewriter? <laughs> yeah, it was an old boat chair. Well, that wasn't a thing. typewriter? No, it was a, a chair from the old Hobie from a Hobie cat. <laughs> what did you uncover a little? Yeah, to I find picked out? it up. <laughs> oh, you did. So it wasn't it? It looked like a. It kind of did look like a typewriter from well, the I'll side there. That. I was wondering how a typewriter could flow in. <laughs> I was wondering too. So it was a it was a chair from a Hobie cat. A chair, yep, from this little Hobie sailboat. What did you do with it? Just tossed it up on the beach. Oh. Uh, Okay, I'll pick it up. Yeah. No typewriter. Well, no I, typewriter. Oh, well, it sure looked that, that way. That was a nice little chair. <laughs> <laughs> so what's new? Anything today? Oh, everything's just terrific. Everything. Just, oh, I had Mars, the red planet, out here this morning. Wow, it was really bright. Really? Bright and red, kind of orangey like really? that. Really? Wow. Mars, the red planet. It's been out every morning, but it was especially grand this morning. Wow. But I didn't have any tent in the sunrise at no, all. No, that was kind of... Tedious little, yeah, and then that was it. Kind of blah this morning. Yeah, and there were little clouds. I thought I was going to have a good one. And the sun didn't even rise either with so many clouds there. Yeah, it was... I couldn't see it come up. It come up now. But still beautiful, though. You never know. Every morning it's different. Yeah, it's about that, it, yeah. It's great, though. I like the breeze blowing. That's oh, and that, the thing. breeze is wonderful right yeah, now. Yeah, otherwise it was hot as blazes. Keeps the bugs away. Yeah, yeah, I love the breeze. So everything's wonderful. Awesome. Like uh, Mike, Mike's way down there fishing. They're oh, all, he's in, huh? They're down there, all oh, the down way down. There. Yeah, oh, down where the buggy is. Oh, look at all those pelicans that just flew over. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Man, a bunch of pelicans seen just a flew over. Dolphin and a Yeah, I'd love to see a dolphin. Maybe down there. Yeah. You should take a walk down to the other end. Oh, I have to do that. Mike's down that way. Huh? Yeah, they're down in I think number two. I haven't seen them up here for a long time. Mike and the Germans, the Pfeifers, are down there with oh, them. Oh, good. So they're still with them. Good show. Oh, yeah. that's great. Had another sea turtle come up there last night and lay eggs Oh, he had another crawl, huh? Yeah. Good. So we got 53 nests now. Oh, did they check it out and yep. find the eggs? Yeah. Yeah, we got to see that this morning. That was fun. Oh, so you saw the eggs, huh, yep. while they are digging it out? Yeah. Good, good. Fun. Oh, that's great. Oh, so you got the old harmonica out? We haven't heard that harmonica in a while. Well, we'll have to have a little tune. Why Let's have a tune. Any old thing you want to play. We're a game for anything. Well, it must be here somewhere. <laughs> something right. Uh-oh. A little sand in there. <laughs> I didn't get the last read though. Oh, must be dead. That's funny. <laughs> well, you got to do uh, You Are My Sunshine. We got our friend that loves that one. Awesome. Yeah, it's Roy, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a great way to start our Friday. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Friday. And it's the 20th today. It is. Exactly four or five months, four or five months from my birthday. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the big I, 94. I don't yeah, five months. 
Big 94. How about that? It's going to be a fun time. Well, we look forward to that. Oh, yeah. Everybody's looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, Jackie and George, they always get something on the beach for me here. <laughs> something nice yeah. of them. Yep, I'm sure we'll have a, a good little get-together again. Well, it's always fun. I don't know if I'm going to be able to top last year, but we'll try. <laughs> Well, every year it gets better and better. Yeah. See what Bill has up his sleeve? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he usually has something, all right. He comes up with a great gift for you. Yeah, yeah, he'll be here. <laughs> oh, fun times. It's always fun. Fun times, Rob. Yep. I just love coming out here in the morning. It's a great way to start the day. Well, Which... it is. With that wind blowing, it's so beautiful. Oh, and I, I love hearing the, the waves. Air. The waves washing in. Make a nice... Nothing could be Summer better. Plunging in, I tell you, it's glorious, just glorious. When we have those big, colorful skies in the morning, that's just a bonus. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought tomorrow, this morning would be a good one. I broke, broke out at 4.30 and was down here bright and early, but no luck, but that's all right. That makes it even better when we got color. So December 20th is his birthday. Somebody's asking, December 20th is Roy's birthday. Yeah. Five days before Christmas, but we always have a party for him here in Area 4, and it goes pretty much all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I know about that, but come on and join us, everybody. We have a great time. Yeah. Well, there's going to be another party this next coming weekend. Not, not ah, this, this, this Sunday. Yeah, after. Jenny's birthday this 29th. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. we'll have a little another party there. That'll be a great time. Good food and friends. That starts, what did you say, noon time? Yeah, around noonish. Yep, that would be fun. So that will be a good time too. I got a yummy birthday cake. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Tom will be cooking Co something up on the coconut, grill. Huh? Coconut cream, vanilla, coconut vanilla frosting. Ooh, that's what you got for the cake, come, huh? Come, nice. get, come get some of that cake. That sounds good. <laughs> All right. Well, how about one more tune on the harmonica one before I tune. shove off? Yeah. How about Old Man River? We Old Man River, it. sure. <laughs> people love it, Roy. People love they love seeing you. They love hearing you. Well, I don't know why, but I You're love everybody. They're all they're all wonderful, beautiful people. Yep. They're just there's lots of hearts coming across the screen for well, you. Well right bless now. you all. Yeah. You're all wonderful people. All the hearts, all the love coming across. Bless you all, bless you, bless you. Life's a blessing and you're part of the blessings of life. There you go. And you are too, Rob. You all that for me. I'm just the medium. Ah, no, you're, <laughs> yeah. a good, you're a good old guy. I just you try do to it. bring everybody together. You do all this work, and yeah, you bring every. Well, that's a high calling to bring people together. Yeah, that's right. And you're doing it. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so far, it's all good people here. Everybody yeah. watching is wonderful. Love them all. Yeah, that's great. That's all great. right. Well, you have a great morning. Yeah, great you're rest of the day. Rock. Don't crack up your camp. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Friday. Burma shave. Keep well to the right of the oncoming car. Get your close shaves from the half pound jar. Burma shave. I don't remember those. <laughs> I think that was, they used to have signs along the road. Oh yeah. That was. I think that was. Oh, one back of those. in the old days, billboards yeah. were big. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was a little before my time. <laughs> and there was Chiquita Banana too. Oh yeah, I remember her. She used to sing. Yeah. I'm Chiquita Banana, and I come here to say bananas must be ripened in a very certain way. Oh, when they're flecked with brown and have a golden hue, bananas taste the best and are the best for you. You can put them in the salad. Blip, blip, blip. 
you can put them in a pie, aye, any way you want to eat them. It's impossible to beat them. But bananas like the climate of the very, very tropical equator. So you should never put bananas in the refrigerator. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> the old Chiquita banana song. Yeah, but she had a nice, a sweeter oh, voice. Oh yeah, she was a, had quite the figure too. I don't remember that, but yeah. I remember the song. Chiquita banana. I remember Chiquita that. I was a little banana. kid. I kind of remember that. Yeah. That's funny. Oh. Well, you always got something for us, Roy. <laughs> We're going back in time, our time machine. All right. God bless you. Take care, Yep, bless have a wonderful you. day. Yep. You. Enjoy your plunge. Yeah, that's yep. All right, I'll see you later. Always fun chatting with Roy. What? Saw something up on the beach here. Washed up, I don't know if it's a log or something. I didn't see it when I was walking by earlier. Yeah, just a piece of driftwood washed up on the beach. Well, there's a look up there this morning. I'm gonna take a quick photo, so hang tight. Don't go anywhere, bear with me. Be right back. I always like taking a couple of pictures when I'm out here in the morning and share them with you later. And that's where I'll include the link to the to the video, this video on YouTube and those pictures that I post later. But I gotta head back down to the end where I started. There he is playing his harmonica. <laughs> All right, there you go, tally ho. Tally -ho. <laughs> Beautiful light blue sky today. Absolutely gorgeous. Another picture, another Kodak moment. Don't go anywhere. There's a big whelk shell. Look at that. The tip of it's broke off, but that's a lightning whelk. It's a little chipped up. I'm going to leave that here for somebody else. Next to it is what's left of a pear whelk. That's interesting. You can hang on a second. Get them in my hand here. You can see the pear whelk on the left, the opening of the pear whelk and the lightning whelk on the right, they're on opposite sides, the lightning whelk and the pear whelk. That's nice. That's pretty cool to find the two of them together like that. A lightning whelk and a pear whelk. I'm gonna leave these here for somebody else. There's the eye of a shark eye. Maybe a gaudy nautica shell, maybe. They kind of look the same, pretty interesting. Just a piece of one. Very colorful.
Lots of little worm shells around here. There's another little worm shell. Every once in a while we'll find a nice big one of these where this piece right here will be maybe eight, eight or sometimes you know ten inches long. Those are really fun to find. But they're very fragile, so this is usually what you find, just the tip. We got our worm rock. There's a couple little pieces of worm rock. the little worm tubes in it. It's worm rock. It's part of an old jewel box shell. Another pear whelk. This is an old pear whelk, piece of an old pear whelk here. Well, we had a great beach walk this morning. Got to see some turtle eggs. That's number 53. That was cool. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. When you find something you like, be sure to hit the share button. Not just the like button, hit the share button. Let's build up the following here. We're getting close to 21,000. The more the merrier. Well, have a great Friday. And if I don't catch you over the weekend, have a fantastic weekend. Be sure to check out Nonstop Naples on Facebook. Follow their page. Some fun things to do around Naples. Make sure you download the Nonstop Naples app from either Google Play or the app store free app we got a couple little bonuses on there a couple coupons some rewards so download that app again it's free what do you have to lose well have a wonderful day for southwest florida television i'm rob stan god bless